1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Living Dead has ended. Dawn of the Dead is here. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Dawn of the Dead is pretty much one of my favorite zombie movies of all time. And matter of fact, when I was a teenager, I used to watch that movie. I used to watch Night of the Living Dead, Evil Dead, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre during my teenage years. And so naturally, of course, I had some sort of bloodlust all the time. I wanted to see blood. I wanted to see gore, this and that. And so I stumbled upon Dawn of the Dead when I was a teenager. And of course, I just absolutely love this movie. Now the tone for this movie, versus Night of the Living Dead is so different. Like, even if you guys have not seen Dawn of the Dead, you probably heard the concept at one point or another. Now, Night of the Dead, like Night of the Living Dead, was actually much more serious, more dramatic, had really, really dramatic, scary moments. And of course, Dawn of the Dead was like the complete opposite because Dawn of the Dead was more satirical, more funny, more action-packed, more guns blazing in comparison to Dawn of the De to like to Night of the Living Dead. Now, of all the dead movies out there, of course, Dawn of the Dead has to be my favorite one. Now, throughout the whole entire playing when it was first coming out for like the theaters and international markets in the United States, there was like a lot of different cuts also for this movie. There was like this theatrical cut, there was like the European cut that was called Zombie, which later inspired Zombie 2, which is called Zombie Flesh Eaters or Zombie. And of course, there was also the uh, extended cut that was playing at Cannes. And naturally, of course, of all the different cuts out there, I personally prefer the theatrical cut in comparison to the other cuts. But honestly, this movie is so fun, so awesome, so action-backed. Now, there was like a box set a long time ago that was released by Anchor Bay Studios. And naturally, of course, that box set went out of print. It was like for DVD only. And so when I heard news that Second Sight Films was going to release a box set with Dawn of the Dead in European markets, I, of course, want to get the box set. So let's talk about the box set and see what the content is inside. This Blu-ray box set from Second Sight Films is really neat. For starters, the artwork is actually the original artwork that was done for the posters when it first came out for this film. And of course in the back you have like a listing of special features. It has like a lot of trailers, a lot of behind the scenes footage stuff, audio commentaries for all films. What is also really neat of course is that when you open up the box, it's like this. There's like so much content inside. So let's talk about the content. Now the first Digipack of course has the movies. It has the first disc has the uh, theatrical cut, the second disc actually has the cans cut, and the third disc has the zombie cut, and the fourth disc is a special feature set. Now the second dishy pack has all the soundtrack for this movie, so if you guys love the soundtrack for this movie, this set also has a soundtrack. There's also two booklets inside. The first booklet is a novel of the movie that was done by George A. Romero, and the second booklet goes into like a special features like the movie history as well as some photographs and posters as inside. So this set is very much jam-packed when it comes down to the extras. Overall, I recommend this blurry box set. Unfortunately, you need like a region free player to play it or a computer to play it. But otherwise, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this box set. It is like a lot of extras, there's like two booklets, there's like of course a soundtrack and everything else. So definitely buy this Blu-ray box set. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend.
Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler